Hello everybody, this is me, Simple Monic Jail, and welcome to another unboxing video. This time being a few my Nintendo rewards. Um, this my Nintendo reward unboxing video, however, being full and not like the last one. There was probably like ten of them, I think. Uh, but yeah, I recently uh got these along with some amiibo. If you saw my community post a few days ago, and yeah, I'm ready to open them because they've been sitting on my shelves in. <laughs> In in the little plastic things for a really long time, well not a long time, but a few days now, and yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just time to get these uh, bad boys open. So, anyways, uh, I just might as well just go from left to right. So starting so starting off, we have the Tears of the Kingdom, uh, well, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Glow in the Dark keychain. Um, I can't show the glow in the, in the dark feature, so that's just something that you would have to. See it for yourself, or maybe another unboxing video. I don't know from from somebody else. Uh, but yeah, so this is the font. I I forgot what this is called, but the the hand here obviously obviously plays a a big feature in you know the game. There's the back of it. Nice little Zelda Tears of the Kingdom all world. And yeah, and honestly, the only reason why I got this is because I love keychains, yeah, especially the the if they're rubble. You know, so yeah, I might as well just open it up. And, oh yeah, look at it, it's so soft too. <laughs> so here we go. There's the keychain, oh, the Robo keychain. Pretty cool. On the back we have Nintendo. Oh, and, oh, okay. So you know, that's actually kind of cool. The, the way, so the way that they packages is that they clearly just had it set up to where the keychain would just stay in place I like that it's a way to ensure that you know you can keep it in the packaging even though I just opened it <laughs> uh, but yeah so anyways here it is nice looking designs again I don't I haven't played Tears of the Kingdom yet I don't even have the game yet so I, again I don't I'm not too familiar with this design but yeah overall flimsy very bendy and whatnot and I love it Another Nintendo keychain to add to my collection. Oh uh, yeah, so anyways, let me just put this in the back. Again, there's not really much to say about it. You know, again, it's just a keychain that glows in the dark. That glows in the dark. Ugh. And, uh, yeah. Again, nothing really much to it. There we go, jeez. I did it, I put it in the wrong way, but that's yeah, fine. Uh, anyways, now now that, that we're done with that, it's time to move on to the Paper Mario the Thousand Year Doe Notebook, I believe. Uh, pretty great game, I would say. Uh, I just I just finished 100%ing it. Oh, yeah, 100% completing it. I would say that was a pain, though. Uh, I, I enjoyed the game. Uh, definitely some, some of the chapters, however, will... Definitely very long or tedious, and I did not like those at all. But uh, yeah, again, this is a notebook. So here we can see the 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 uh the cover art for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Doe. And then on the back we have a nice little way to how to make a Paper Mario airplane. And I believe oh well over here is the code to learn more about the game. And uh, yeah. So I might as well just get this one opened up as well and see what this notebook's all about. Again, I, I don't plan on using this notebook, so yeah. Alright, but anyways, so here we have it. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is actually kind of cool. Oh, so so this so this is actually a nice little design for a small paper airplane. That's sick. That's actually really cool, and the instructions on the. I I figured this was like the the PDF file that you would have to get on the site on the My Nintendo website, but no, it's actually. Oh, that that's cool. I don't know if I'm gonna actually make it, just because I don't. I don't want to like ruin it in a way, cause 
I, I suck at making paper airplanes, so yeah. But I do like how it actually has nice little instructions on it and the lines too to show you that. But yeah. So not that much, again, that, that's pretty just it. Anyways, onto the notebook itself. On the back, it's just color bold. The font, again, the cover art. And uh, yeah, this is the notebook. So we have Mario down there, Mario with the hammer. Oh, you can't really see. It. Oh, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna break it. Come on. There we go. Mario again. And so I'm going to assume each, well, after a few, some, after a few amount of pages, uh, obviously the, the background's different, but then you'll have a different character on it. So here we have Goombella, Coops. Uh, there we go. Flowey, I think. I forgot her name, honestly. And uh, yeah, it just goes on and on. There's Yoshi. Vivian. Oh, really? Only one page? <laughs> uh, Bobbery, I think. There's the mouse character. And uh, yeah, I... Oh, never mind. It keeps going. There's Frankie. Uh, the other Kamek, <laughs> I forgot, I forgot the name, there's Bowser, Peach, and then yeah, and then I assume it just, re yeah, just sort of, okay, cool. So yeah, so that's basically it for the notebook itself, again, um, that's, it basic really, I don't plan on using it, but uh, the inclusion of that small paper airplane is kind of cool, but again, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I don't want to use it. There we go. Alright, and there you go. It's well, I, you know, I might just toss out the plastic, honestly. Get, get rid of it. Anyways, moving on to, we have the My Nintendo Holiday Ornament. Really, the only reason why I even got this was because it's Christmas themed in a way. And again, I, I don't expect it to be like that. To, ha to have Nintendo have this as a reward for too long. I um, guess again, it is holiday themed and Christmas is long gone by now. So, yeah. I'm not assume I'm not gonna assume too much from this ornament. Again, it's just a flat two D image of Mario and the character and, and the gang. Um, but yeah. So anyways, here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't even know what that was. Here's the ornament itself. Very nice. Um, I don't know if it's exactly. I don't want to say it's metal, but there's it, it. There's definitely like it's not. It's not just a, a flat piece of paper, you know. It, it's actually it's like you know. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know how you would call it. You know, it just it feels metal in a way, but not really. So, anyways, here's the here's the ornament itself. You know, you have Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, the Goomba, Toad, Koopa Trooper, Bowser. Bowser Jr. and Donkey Kong. Funny enough, all the characters that have, no, no. I, I was gonna say all the characters, all the characters that appeared in the Mario movie, but Bowser Jr. was nowhere to be seen. Uh, but but on the other side, again, it's just the same image. Again, nothing there. A blue background. And the back, it has a nice little ribbon. Um, I actually don't want to take take it off because. Ugh, I don't know how that I don't know how that works. Uh, but yeah, overall a nice little Christmas ornament. And yeah, again, there's not there's not much to say to, on it because again, it's an ornament. But anyways, on to probably the big one out of the full. We have the 2024 calendar. 
Now, if I, if I were to use this, it would only be good for like a few of my dick for like six, six months. Uh, but on the back here, we have a Pikmin logo as well as some other logos or items and whatnot. So yeah, so there's the font. And we might as well just open the bag. There we go. And you can see there's, some, there's, a, there's a little mini tender logo on it. And uh, yeah, I assume this, you know, I'm not even gonna make the stand. I'm not even gonna do that. <laughs> I suck at that, so yeah. So we're just gonna go through all the codes and just see what they have, and that's basically gonna be it for this video. So here we have the 2024 calendar. Uh, on the back, we just have a timeline of all the months, of all the 12 months. Starting off with January, we have Super Mario Bros. Wonder representing the month. You know, you have Mario, the Wonder Flower, the Elephant, and the Talking Flower. Now what's on the back? Again, that's just the back. For February, we have Pikmin 4. Nice. <laughs> nice looking all world. For March, we have Animal Crossing representing March with Tom and Timmy and Tommy, I believe. Hopefully I got that right. For April, we have Splatoon 3. There's the back of it. For May, we have Link representing May, or I guess Tears of the Kingdom. I will say, I do like how it's actually like, how they use games currently on, or oh, I guess Nintendo's current games as of lately. So yep, so that's back of May. For June, we have Princess Peach Showtime as the game representing June. June 6th. July, we have uh, my birthday month. <laughs> we have Pikmin representing it. I don't know if it's actually no. It is. It is Pikmin Four. I just haven't seen this render of the enemy. That's real. Anyways, there's a bag with. <laughs> now, nah, I don't even want to continue. <laughs> I just. I thought I'm just gonna mess up stuff. Anyways, for August we have Zelda from again Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. There's the back of it. With a, with a nice little claw watch seat with the carrying a backpack, or claw watch carrying a backpack, I should say. For September, we have, again, a, another Splatoon 3 themed. This one being uh, off deep cut. I was gonna say off the hook, my gosh. Uh, Shivo, Big Man and Fly. This is September. For October, obviously it makes sense have it be themed on Hall based on Halloween. And what's and what's the and what's the franchise most centered around Halloween? Luigi's Mansion. So yeah, Luigi's Mansion Three. I'm actually very happy with this one. Very good pick. And obviously, just a clear choice. For November, we have Animal Crossing again. There we go. And for December, we have just a bunch of Mario characters. And uh, yeah. So anyways, that's gonna be it. The, for the mighty for the mighty tender 2024 calendar um i always love getting these calendars i don't think i got one from last year with which the um that kind of sucks and, the, and that's my bad on my part uh but yeah anyway i'm just gonna put this back in here and uh, yeah and with that is going to be the end of this video um I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I, I'm trying. Come on, get all these back up here. No stay. There we go. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in, in the comments below which of these four was your favorite, and have you picked any of these up uh, recently? Uh, and yeah, just let me know. Just have a conversation down below. Oh uh, yeah, I I can't wait to see some more my nintendo rewards pop up soon um uh, i know they just released oh excuse me they just released one um of old games or old nintendo games as postcards so i think that so i think that's kind of cool i might pick that one up uh but yeah uh, i do kind of wish i would say how many points these were because i kind of forgot um but yeah I, I just 
I just make sure that I have enough points to get the rewards, and that's basically it. Uh, but yeah, but anyways, that's gonna be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you all in the next video. Whether or not that'll be Amiibo or something else, who knows? Uh, but yeah, but anyways, that's it for me. This is Simple Money. Ah, oh, this is Simple Money J signing out.